evening, Master Duel fans. We got us another throwdown matchup of the night. So, first things first. One set could be anything. Where could this lead to? Who knows? Normal summon Ally Justice Quarantine. So, the reason being secretly taking in this card is because in an instance, normally I'm a go second guy. But in most cases, whenever I lose the coin toss and if the opponent forces me to go first the moment i summon this it keeps most decks in check that isn't drytron because drytrons usually love to go first of course for the combo plays so in this instance on a very rare occasion is where whenever i win a coin toss me going first and if i ever see this card in hand this card keeps drytrons in check same with dogmatica eldritch and any other light base shenanigans of all in this card. So basically, Ally Justice Quarantine, level four dark machine with 1700 attack, 1200 defense. And it's a fact applies to both players. No one special slights. Gets in there for 17. Simplify game state. Summons Chamber Dragon Maze. So it turns out that quarantine uh, got his job done with the 1700 attack. So any case, Charmers versus Dragon Maids, what a matchup. So Chamber Dragon Maid, normal or special, she's the Stratos of Dragon Maid spell traps. And then the Dragon Maid gimmick, unless your name is Chamber, at the start of the battle, kick this card back to hand, level seven or higher, Dragon Maid from hand or graveyard. But Ash Blossom keeps the uh, Chamber Dragon Maid in check from the search. Opponent activates Dragon Maid Lore Par just so that the discard effect is to target one face up monster anywhere on board. Players cannot activate that target's effects on the field this turn. At first, it made me question on why targeting Quarantine at the very least. But at the same time, like I totally get the strat is to, if I recall this scenario correctly, Chamber going back to hand, special out the lore par. But most cases, yeah, I think that's exactly the maneuver about what's going to happen. Down by a thousand of all things, wow. Simplify game state. June to Spirit Charmers, better have it. And he does. Ash Blossom keeps my Spirit Charmers in check. And once again, simplified. Chamber Dragon May Summon, getting Dra Dragon May Changeover, obviously. Fusion summon of the uh, Dragon Maids, of course. And while this card's in your graveyard, target one Dragon Maid monster you control. Add this card to your hand, and if you do, return that monster to the hand, which is pretty good in terms of having so much advantage in recursion. Sending the two together on field. Dragon Maid show. Dragon Maid monster, level five or higher dragon. The maid, of course, level five or higher, most cases eight. So, Dragon Maid Show. During each standby phase, both players standby, special one level nine or lower Dragon Maid monster from your hand or graveyard. And on top of that, anyone's turn when your opponent triggers a card or a fet, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy that card. Also, after that, return this card to the extra deck, and if you do, special summon one house Dragon Maid from your extra deck in each effect this once. Dragon Maid Hospitality. Special one Dragon Maid from hand or grave in defense and send the Dragon Maid based on the same attribute but a different level. So basically Reborn's Chamber and then Dragon Maid Welcome. Monsters you control gain 100 attack defense for each Dragon Maid monsters you control. Two or more Maid monsters Target one Dragon Maid card, including Spell Trap, except the Welcome, add it back to the hand. Basically, once again, 
um, hand and field advantage. Welcome. Brings back hospitality. Chamber kickback. Specials. Lorp. And after all that damage, still not out of the woods yet by 400. So, on this turn, a uh, special chamber off from show. Get the hospitality once again. Summon dark. Activate the field spell. Shane show just to bait and negate the field spell. And it made me wonder on this turn. Oh, and there's the house, by the way. Uh, before we go any further, uh, house on board because of show. Once per turn during the standby phase, both players standby, target one other Dragon Maid monster you control, special one Dragon Maid monster from your hand or graveyard who is one level higher or lower. And on top of that, when another face of Dragon doesn't gotta be maids, monster or monsters more than one you control returns to your hand outside of the damage step target one monster your opponent controls destroy it as in not once per turn my control the lord par and on this specific turn it made me think that said car better be tidying otherwise game is over so apparently we're gonna work our way up so my control the lord par dark lord par linked up into win win Lore Park, linked up to Selene. Six spells based on both players. Selene, revive dark. And access code has appeared. Access code gained a 3,000 off. Banish win. And what do we kill off of access code? Turns out that one set card off from turn one was Royal Decree. Axis Kel, banish Shaleen, kill the chamber, and then Axis Kel, battle out house, and we is raring to go. Any board wipe does it, but let's see where this leads. Extra, banishing three, hospitality, reborn, lore par, Armageddon Knights, parlor dragon maid. And speaking of Armageddon Knight, of the Dragon Maids. That is exactly what Parlor Dragon Maid does on Normal and Special. And then in this one, when it comes to Parlor, kick this back to hand, Special 1 Level 8 Dragon Maid from Hand or Graveyard. On this turn, as shit upon his hand, no, he does not. Also in hand, set down possess partnerships. Normal summon also. The 50 extra attack does matter. Because that's game. And that, my charmer enthusiasts, is how we got the game win. Not gonna lie though, if my opponent has Ash in hand when the second Spirit Charmers was triggered, then I would have just immediately tried to take over the board with just Axis Code by itself. And again, any board wipe does it, but you know, that's how the game goes. But Rue, salute you on keeping the lead, but at the end, Charmers making a huge comeback. So thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you want to see more throwdown matches, be sure to hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys next time.